Aloha. Welcome to Rooster Ribbon. I'm Mr. Stubby Fingers with another finger pricking ribbon lay lesson for you. I've got my special equipment needs here. And this is what we're going to be making today. Uh, this is a plumeria, running stitch plumeria lay that we showed in lesson one. Uh, now we're going to be adding these flower petals and leaves and kukui nuts. So let's get started. So today we're going to be making this section of petals and leaves to add to your plumeria lay. Okay. Another simple folding technique. Uh, these are training pieces. So if you got single face satin ribbon, you want this shiny side to be up with this folding technique. I'll show you two. At a 45 degree angle, fold it in half so you have equal legs, I'll call them, and then fold it over onto itself. Try to keep everything nice and straight and then fold in half this way. Taking your needle and your fingers, go through like that. And try to, when you put the needle through, try to keep your petals so that they're open in the same direction. Don't flip them around. Okay. Now, another technique is to dull side up, still fold it out of 45. Fold it back. On itself. And then still facing, the pedals facing the same direction. So, I prefer this way. With the shiny side up. So, Mr. Stubby Fingers obviously had to practice quite a bit uh, with the real size ribbon we'll be using. This is training ribbon, oversize. This is what we're going to be working with size-wise. Okay, I'm now going to finish up running stitch plumeria lay uh, that is available to see lesson one before we start adding the flowers and the kukui nuts. Gonna stop there and pull through. OK, 
Okay. Then I'm going to cut. Okay, we'll cut through both ribbons, not the thread. Then we're going to melt the edge, not the thread again. Okay, now we're going to build our flower petal sections. Fold in half green for the leaves. Be five pieces of this. Try to spread them out now as you go or as you pull it down toward the rest of the body of the lay. Cinch it up, nice and tight. Then we'll start with the difficult part for stubby fingers. Five of the green for the leaves, and you're gonna need six of whatever colors you happen to be using. Now this is double-faced ribbon, so you don't have to worry about shiny side, and you can fold whichever way you like, whichever is easier for you. I'm still going with my preferred technique. Now that's pretty fugly. Let's try that again. Try to keep the edges aligned as best you can. And remember to try to keep them all facing the same direction. Okay, this is our first row of six. We're going to do another row of six and then a kukui nut. Now this next row of six, keep the opening of the petal uh, still facing the same way and then stagger them. So.
All right, from the last uh, petal, from the first row of six, your first one is going to want to go there. Next one's here, here, and here. Push these down to the leaves. Check. Got a nice uh, droop that you like. Hold tight. Next is coming a kukui nut. Then we're going to build another 12 section of petals, followed by the green leaves, and then continue on with the Pico uh, Plumeria Lay section, and then we'll go again. just made the one and slid it down so I could check to make sure that my petals were open in the same direction. Just wanted to check that. Normally you'll leave them all on the needle until it's time to slide them down. Just some quality control there. Got my pedal opening facing wrong, but easy enough to change. Now we're going to slide this down. this up in a little bit but now it's time for five green leaves again same as before fold in half okay now that we've got that set up we're gonna start with another section of plumeria which is uh, two yards running stitch plumeria to 
just like lesson one. Do it until you uh, get to the end and then start this process again. <laughs>